uh, so I did a crop walk see how this canola is going. It's starting to dry on top. A lot of canola is still coming through, which is kind of refreshing or relaxing or whatever it would be because uh, some, some of it germinated early and then we got other stuff. Yeah, it'll do a little bit on the thin side. It'll probably be all right in the end. But uh, yeah, I'll soon have to think about this grass spray though. The uh, atrazine seems to knock the grass about and it probably looks better walking out on the paddock than actually uh, driving past. There's more here than you'd sort of almost think, but uh, it's uh, won't be long, it'll need a bit of urea. Probably a week or two. Guest spray the uh, Clefo brew this week, I would suspect, if uh, it's sort of yeah, drying on top, so then we can have a go at that. I mean, yeah, there's quite a bit of canola here where it's um, just nice. Plenty of grass, not as bad as last year, but there's still plenty here. I only, this is only the second year with canola, but it's, uh, it's an interesting uh, proposition uh, when you look at such a miserable looking uh, crop when it starts out and how it builds into this massive... Uh, Massive uh, biomass in the end, so it's coming through. So we definitely want that out of it. Look at that. Nice patch of barley to compete with the crop. Don't wait to spray that out. Another day. Grow! Grow! That's some weevils in there. We've finished the, got the last of the beans out. Now we've got to clean this silo out. I and mean, I've got a little bit more bale here that I'll have to be fed, but yeah, weevils. Good lord. Look at that. The last of the compass, but it won't be growing. It'll be eaten. Ah, uh, beautiful Saturday for a bit of uh, grass spraying and the old canola. But uh, no, we're done. having a very careful first round here because there's a breeze. It's not very windy, but it's just a slight drift into the neighbor, neighbor's wheat crop. So I don't really want to take out any of that. So I'm just going along. We've got the sprays only going, only going like eight k's. It's like 30 liters a minute, about one and a half bars. Low pressure, right to the ground. Should be all right should be as safe as you're gonna get. So, yeah, nice day. So, it's interesting, it looks thin, but you look out here, the canola's here, it's just going slowly. And I reckon, I reckon we've had near the rain down here that we've had at home, which is weird. This used to be, seen to get more rain in the last few years, almost like it's in a rain shadow. I reckon if you get uh, an inch at home, you probably get about 70 points here. Well, that's you fed for another day. Eat up. It might rain, maybe. All right, till tomorrow. Uh, so this bit of tidying up, but all that. Uh, we're gonna go and get some expensive urea tomorrow. It's getting cheaper though. That's kind of nice, but uh, we need some now. Not in July, well, we need a lot more in July, but uh, Anyway, this shouldn't have been as much of this stuff over either, but uh, classic case of thinking it's all running away from us. Cut it back, and then we got heaps. So, uh, uh, how often does that happen? There's only ever one year where I almost ran out. and actually had to really cut it back stupid amount. So, didn't want to have to do that again. But uh, anyway. Oh, well. Come on. Well, it's been about uh, three weeks. Let's see if this starts. Oh, it's, well, that's great. Encouraging. Oh, let's get this little bit of your rear out and then we can uh, put in the other shed ready for tomorrow morning. So we're gonna leave voice thing. Excellent. That be it.
Oh, it'll be about, yeah, it'll be about right. By the time we get out and what's in the cedar and with what I've got, we'll do the first two uh, spreads in the canola, I think. So, should be good. <coughs> well, off on a morning adventure. Get a hat full of urea, so why not? Let's get into it. Fun little spin to town and a fun little spin locally. That's right, you said it. Oh, waiting. We're getting there. It's amazing, a little truck in among all the big fellas. Oh, let's get this urea out before the rain comes. Part two of the adventure. Done a few other jobs in between, but uh, go and get the local urea. See you there. Here we go. More of the white stuff. Look at that crack cocaine in there. Oh, well, it goes on. They're still eating. Can't wait to get rid of some of these. Oh, focus. Duh. Nothing quite like a night night spin. Get some ad blue. Not expensive at all. See, we're out here. Gonna put a bit of boxer on a couple of patches in this barley where there's some rye grass. In the other paddock got a bit, bit of metribuse and some brown grass, but uh, that mightn't happen today because I don't think the barley's quite advanced enough. It's just barely three leaves now. Be all right for this, but the other will be better after the rain, I think. So that's what we're going to do for now. Isn't that right, fella? Oh, it's a bit breezy, but we're doing it. It's not too bad. A little bit more rye grass here than I thought, too. So I hope I missed enough. No, we'll stretch it out. I don't really want to put any more of this on than I need to. Not sure it'll hurt the crop too much, but uh, less the better in this instance, I think. Oh, that's grassier than I'd hoped. Oh my god. Probably about the worst performance. Oh, I guess it's because of all the rain. Um, but particularly through here. Jeez. Wow. Oh, I hope it helps. That's actually quite bad right there. It is only small, so it should help. Uh, bloody ryegrass. Oh, we're nearly there. Right. Here we go. Blow the urea. Given it on this uh, pretty bare looking canola crop, 80 kilograms. But, uh, uh, yeah, 
it's there, but it's slow. The canola is slow, but the earth is patient, as they say. Did they, do they actually say that? Uh, well, that's round one of the canola done. I reckon we might uh, go and do a little bit in the wheat now. Maybe give it some on the wheat on canola stubble and maybe the wheat on wheat. Uh, probably wouldn't hurt. Well, I've only got enough for about 60 kilos at the moment. That wouldn't matter. A split application might be good because it didn't. It never had the SOA like last year. So it's had a little bit less in up to this stage. So a bit more probably wouldn't hurt. Uh, the wheat on bean stubble looks pretty solid, so that can probably wait. So, um, ah, well, we'll continue on. It's only 10.30, so a lot of hours left. Well, out here giving in the wheat. Well, the wheat on canola anyway, so just put in a bit of, well, what, 60 kilograms. So, uh, just give it a bit of a kick along, because I think, uh, yeah, wouldn't hurt just to uh, do that because it we never had the SOA as I explained earlier, so uh, we better give it a bit more now. And um, yeah, well, finally for now, because this is about all the room we've got, uh, the wheat on wheat, so uh, it doesn't look terrible in the dark, but. Uh, yeah, needs a kick along. Ah uh, yes, the laundry autos here. As per usual. Get that white crack out there. Well, that's it. Let's hope it rains now. So we did uh, yeah, all the... We did the canola. And then the wheat on canola stubble and wheat on wheat and actually the little barley paddock out here that will all but pretty much all done as well. With 60 kilograms on the wheat on the cereal there and um, 80 on the canola so seems to be going pretty about right. So now I've got to get more urea. Getting cheaper but it's not cheap. Alrighty. Night, night. Well, take a look. Hopefully the last time they'll all be feeding here. So uh, they're gonna go home tomorrow and draft some off on Monday morning to send some away. About bloody time, thankfully. They're running out of grain. So uh, hopefully enough of them are grown at least a little bit. But, um, oh well, Let's there we go. The beans don't look too bad. They're relatively clean too. We will need a grass spray, but probably one will do it. One should do it. Uh, barley's a bloody mess. It's full of grown grass. Uh, wheat didn't seem too bad. There wasn't much in the truck. But uh, a little bit in the cedar still, so. Oh, we're ready to get tidied up. Oh, this is different. Shiny. Metribuzin. Oh, we're out here giving it. Giving it in the barley, the metribuzin. We'll see if we can make this stuff look, look pretty bad. I'm sure it'll knock it about, but uh, there's a hell of a lot of grown grass out here, so I've uh, got to try and do something about that. So, um, even though... It probably the pre-em help, but there's still more. So, what are you gonna do? Hey, we'll get it done before sundown. Don't worry. Make sure you're ready. 